What I want to talk about now are the swap brakes. What's a swap? Have you heard about that in the press? Sure you have. What's a swap? What's a swap? A swap. Now when you've heard about fixed rate mortgages, they've been blaming it on the swap rates going up. And when you look at fixed rate mortgages, they don't correlate, do they? You get sort of two two year fixed rates at six point four percent, which is a relatively high. When the bank base rates only at two and a quarter of them, yes, it's going up, but the fixed rate mortgages are ridiculously expensive, too expensive, temporarily too expensive, and let's explain why. So, what is a swap rate then? Well, a swap rate, the best metaphor, is. I know, say, say the gas bill, your electricity bill, you know, your energy bills, which are all going up as we don't know. But you could, if you wanted to, a year ago, so get yourself a fixed deal, couldn't you? Because normally gas is priced in a variable rate, so you pay according to the price of the market. But you can get yourself a deal where you fix yourself for one or two years. And that deal is fixed and it's based upon the future price of gas. That's not dissimilar to what a swap rate is. So here's what happens. We've got our banks, first of all, so let's put our banks in here for you. So that's a picture of our bank. Here's our bank. Now I'm talking here about commercial banks. These are the guys with all the cash. Now they lend this money to each other in the overnight market called Sonia. It's not a 1980s singer or 1990s. Sonia stands for Sterling Overnight Interest Average. It used to be called the LIBOR. But the LIBOR was rigged by some bankers, so they got rid of that, and they called it Sonia. Now, what this is, is it's the it's the, the rate of interest that banks lend to each other overnight. When they got surplus money, they throw it into the wholesale market effectively and lend it to each other on Sonia rate. And loads of other money goes in there as well, and that's the, generally the wholesale market. That's where we get our money from in mortgage lending. Now, at the moment, I checked it this morning, Sonia is 2.2%, which is... Reflected by the Bank of England base rate, right? yes, it may go up in November, it probably will do, but that's the most up-to-date rate of interest, the variable rate of interest on the marketplace. Now, the reason it's on its way up is because the future is, is worrying. Many people are worrying about the future, particularly people who you know, deal with money. They're worried about future interest rates, and that's all being reflected in this at the moment. So... If we now look at lenders and see how they get their money. So let's take a look at a specialist lender. We'll put, put a lender down here, shall we? Yeah, there's our lender. It's a specialist lender. They need to get some money in order to lend to your customers in, uh, in a variable or fixed rate. So what they'll do is they'll go to the wholesale market and they'll buy it. So they'll buy some money from the wholesale market. So they'll go in there, effectively get some money from the wholesale market. But the problem with that money is it's variable or floating. It's a floating percentage because that's how some years will work from, which is great, but they don't want that. They want fixed money so they can lend to your customers at a two or five year fix. So what they do is they go to the banks. So the banks get involved there now. And the banks then swap that floating money for fixed money. That's pretty much it, really. So suddenly the swap is fixed. So you, you you buy your money on variable, you then go to the banks, who then give you a swap deal, which swaps it for a fixed interest. And that's how it works. Now, the swap is a very complex device. It's, it's full of derivatives, uh, gilts, <laughs> something to think about, and all those other good things. So basically swaps it, so they, they take the risk effectively. Now, the swap rates, because they're pretty much based on derivatives and gilts, are is starting to go up. It's based upon the, the gilt market. And the gilt market is looking horrendous at the moment, as we very well know. Just to take a look at some numbers for you, let's flick over here so I can give you some numbers. This is the gilt we looked at earlier. Do you remember this gilt? Where we looked at the, uh, here we go, let's just point that out for you. The 1.5% Treasury gilt, 2047. See what's happening to this? It's going down. It's going back up again. Let's see if you can see this. There was September 22. The yield was 4.89. In uh, 4th October, it's 4%. And what's going to happen today, we don't know. But the, the yields are very high. The prices, as you can appreciate, are coming right down. Gone back up a little bit there. But it's these yields. That's what swap rate's based upon. And this, this fire sale, which I'll explain to you in a second, 
which is causing all the problems. So therefore, you've got these guilt yields are very high. And of course, the swap rates are based upon guilt and, and, and derivatives as well. So the swap mortgage, the interest rate, is very high. At the moment, it's about 5%. So you're buying it at 2.2, you're swapping it for about five. Hence, you have two or five year fixed mortgages at ridiculously high swap rates. Because that is what's causing the problems. It's the swap rates based upon derivatives and guilt market. Not good. So if you're looking for your clients, you can either go for a fixed rate of two years at 6%, maybe slightly less at five years. The nationwide has a 10 year fix for about five and a half, six percent their standard variable rate is about 6%, so would go by that, that's just what they like to charge. Best two at the moment probably is the Bank of England base rate plus something. Nationwide have one at plus 0.9, Bank of England base rate plus nine. That's about that, no redemption penalties. So that's probably your best at the moment. And then when things calm down, because they probably will, then the fixed rates will come down slightly. Depends what happens. <laughs>